so ugly. Oh, the politics and the ugly land and the smog and the fires and the earthquakes. I'm glad I got running water at home. I can't wait till I'm my church. If I offer you something, that's because I'm giving you something. And this one isn't even about Scotty. This is about anybody that if I text you or I call you, that means I love you. If you don't call me or text me back, I'm not calling you anymore. I'm tired of being maltreated. Take that any way you want. Sorry I'm driving a stick and I gotta put it back in the fifth because I'm going down a fucking hill. Yeah. <coughs> I can't wait to fucking have a fucking automatic. Even if it's just a car. So, I'm liquidating my assets. I've done this once before because I sold my Harley. I sold uh, almost all my good music gear, including some of my wife's. I'm doing that again, but harder this time because I'm buying a church and the church is going to have a kitchen in it. I could even live in this church. It's going to be my theoretical, it's my church. It's a gathering place, happiness, kindness. I don't want to say too much, but I can see things through God and I can hear things that other people can't. Again, I'm not going to say this all the time, but I'm doing a day in the life. God called me a prophet twice. And I really hope my daughter can put that song in right here, that German one. And a little cliff note to my beautiful little girl who's just turned 17. Happy birthday, Melanie Jean. I hope you play that guitar. And that amp. Um, the, the other song that I'd like to be on the very end of this said video, A Day in the Life of Seven Kirti. And this is just one day, dude. I, I saved a lady's life the other day and her dog, and then I got fucking fired the, the next day. Because I'm in so much pain mentally and physically, I can't go to work. And I'm calling in once a week to a job I've been at for one month. It's not their fault. They kept me on the books, and God bless them. I love that. Big J, if you're watching this, I hope you watch this. Little J. Luke, Mikey, my boy Tree, and all the rad customers. I love that job. And they deal with me, and respectfully, I deal with them. And that's a blessing and a quarter. Let me tell you something. I'm mentally unstable, and especially when I'm trying to slow down on drinking, and had dealing with these health problems with my prostate and my knee and my shoulder, and getting older. I'm gonna have to have surgeries that come up. I hope I don't have cancer in my prostate. It's not right, something's very not right. It's very painful at all times. I hope that one of you gets the chance to look up prostitis. I've tried to explain it to everyone, but respectfully, no one will really listen because they're just taking it as it is because we're at work or they're tired of hearing me talk and complain. I understand. I respect that. I'm not mad at you. It's very painful. In a nutshell, it feels like it's, it's hard to pee. It's hard to poop. It's hard to get an erection. You're not supposed to masturbate at all. I haven't masturbated in a week and a half, but one time when I had a panic attack, that was the first panic attack of at least 25. Not including the little ones like I just had. <clears throat> I am bettering myself. And if you don't like that... There's a the sunset. At least the start of it. Melanie, I want to play uh, that German song on this, song on this thing a couple times, please. I really hope she can help me edit this because she's smart and bright and beautiful. and a, She's a beautiful little lesbian young lady and her girlfriend's name is Felicia. And her parents are Jehovah, and that's rad. I'm Christian-esque. My wife is baptized Catholic. My daughter is Buddhist. I don't want to change anyone if they are happy. If you want to ask me about how I feel, about how you feel, then I will give you my honest opinion because God has put me here to do that. Prophet's not a light word, and I'm not going to say that all the time. Like, this video's showing you my life. It's probably pretty long. I don't even know how many people are going to watch this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. My channel's hella small. This is who I am. I'm not always this way. It's just the holidays are hard. <sighs> Gotta save gas. Good thing about a six-speed truck. Um, I'm just trying to say things as I remember. So that, that Christian song that I sang in the beginning of this video, when I was crying and hitting the roof of my truck... That got me through into this point, and I hope it turns back on the radio because it's always a good omen when it does. I hope to reach out to that man because that song is uh, getting me by some horrible times in my life. And the other one is the German song that I listened to when I was at German Guys when they gave me a free beer and free food, and I almost had to fight them to give the back of house $10, and I said, I'm a cook too.
please let me give the $10 to the back of the house because we never make no, no money. It's all the servers. And they gave me a big hug and said, you know, you never ask, and this isn't regular. You're just going through a lot. Please take this kindness. And a beautiful, thick German accent from a beautiful woman named Kate and her husband is named Addie. And they are my friends. I appreciate them. German guys in Stockton, California, the best German food around. And you want to talk about hospitality and kindness? The chef's a good kid. When I go in there, everybody says hi to me. I go into the back of the house. I, I go and talk to the customers and ask them what they eat because I'm going to do that at my restaurant. And I'd also like to shout out Go Falafel. Chef Van, uh, Go Falafel in Stockton, California. I met Chef Sam when he had a, uh, a little food trailer. I talked to him for 45 minutes with my beautiful wife. He kept giving us free food and telling us stories about Dubai. He has two beautiful sons and an awesome wife and a, and a wonderful restaurant. Since I have met this young man, he's a master chef. He, uh, has, he's gone from a one trailer to a bigger trailer, to a bigger trailer, to a beautiful food truck in a trailer, to two beautiful food trucks, I'm not kidding, to then a brick and mortar that's beautiful in Stockton Calpine off of Alpine and Pacific, right by UOP, the college. Since he's done that, he got rid of the other food truck, knocked out a wall, and bought the other part of the thing, and it's a big old beautiful blue restaurant, and it's called Go Falafel. Chef Sam, you are my brother, bro. You've talked to me about food. You've sat down with me in your kitchen on the, when, the, when it's closed. I wouldn't be who I am without the people that support me in life and in food and in art and in music and the glory of God and family. I am okay because I have these people, and these people have me. For I will do all for who I love. But if you cross me one more time, that is game over. And I mean that to no person. I mean that to no man in theory. I'm just letting you know that I'm done. Uh, there's, here's a hard one. Both of my parents have left me. Both of them. When I was a child and as an adult. I love my parents. They are a little difficult as am I. I am a father. I am a better father than my father. He doesn't watch my videos. I wish he would. I love him, but he's, he had a rough childhood. I thought I had a bad one, and that's family stuff. I'm not getting into that. And my mother, God bless her, I just got her from the hospital. I think you saw her in the video. I will die by my people, but that's my parents. That's not uh, some guy that I met at a gas station, you know, back in 07. It's my family, my daughter, my wife. Okay? The times are now. Be with me or don't, please. I don't want people telling me mean things or how to live my life. Um, I know what I'm doing. God's talking through me louder than he ever has in my entire life, and I love it. It's not a food truck. It's a church. And I love that. It's a yellow church. All right, see how many 50 more times I talk. This video is going to be an hour long. I don't care. Talk in a minute.